Hello everyone. Physics always sweet. I welcome everyone to enjoy this session. Today we have a class on CBSC class 12 physics chapter 9. Ray optics and optical instruments. Let's go. In this chapter we will start with introduction part. In this introduction part we have only three points electromagnetic wave nature of light phenomena of light electromagnetic wave we can study about this with detail in chapter 8 there are seven types of electromagnetic waves in that our human eye can detect only visible light the second point nature of the light what is the nature speed and straight line what is the speed of light 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second it means 3 lakhs kilometer per second and always light moves in a straight line the third point phenomena of the visible light what are the phenomena reflection refraction dispersion reflection and refraction we have studied in lower classes what is the dispersion splitting of colors it means white light split it into seven colors that is called dispersion it means rainbow after the introduction we have a blue box in the blue box few points are there newton's contribution corpuscular model of light color of light partial reflection wrong idea about velocity newton contributed his work in mathematics and physics particularly in physics he contributed much work in gravitation mechanics and light corpuscular model of light corpuscular it means particles according to this theory light made up of particles this theory proposed by descartes later on sir isaac newton developed this theory by mechanics just imagine this is mirror and this is particle consider this particle speed is 5 km per hour after collision it will return back while returning back if it attains same speed 5 km per hour then this collision is called elastic collision in case if it attains other speed then this is called inelastic collision by this way light particles also whenever it hits any medium it follows elastic and inelastic collision in rainy season if we travel on the road there is a possibility of watching colors on water whenever oil spread over on the water it will produce thin film due to this color will be formed newton experimented colors through prism also we had a experience watching our image when standing near the water body like pond lake swimming pool in that we can see our image at the same time we can see the stones fishes inside the water body how it is possible while light fall on water body some part of light particles will be reflected and remaining refracted this is called partial reflection i can give you one more example for partial reflection i hope you have experience wearing these kind of specs i can able to see you at the same time you get the image your image what's happening whenever light particle hits this kind of mirror few particles light particles transmitted and few particles reflected what's happening due to the refraction or transmission i can able to see you what are the things in front of me i can able to see at the same time due to the 
reflection you can able to get your image so this is the best example for partial reflection and finally newton given one more point to this light chapter already we know about that speed of light is 3 lakhs kilometer per second according to him the speed of light is maximum in water media or any other media and speed of light is minimum in air actually this is wrong after newton so many scientists demonstrated about this opposite it means speed of light is maximum in air and speed of light is minimum in water body or any other media so newton given a wrong idea about the speed of light next reflection plane mirror spherical mirror spherical mirror may be concave or convex if we have these mirrors sure reflection will be there if you want to understand the reflection we should remember what we have studied from the lower classes about the light when the light falls on this surface of the mirror this is called incident ray after reaching point of incidence it will return back this is called reflected ray and then we have to draw the imaginary line perpendicularly to the surface of the mirror this is called normal line angle between incident ray and normal line it is called angle of incidence angle between reflected ray and normal line it is called angle of reflection for this reflection there are two rules the first one i is equal to r it means angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and the second one incident ray reflected ray and normal line all are in same plane these two rules are common to plane mirror and spherical mirror thank you for watching this video next wait for sign convention